All right, so this is my review of um, G Max 10, a Linux distro you may not have heard of. Um, first thing to say is, usually this bar at the top has a sort of transparent Mac look. However, VirtualBox Guest Edition seems to have broken that. Usually it would have a um, favorites bar and all that lot up here. Um, if I get round to it, maybe I'll put a picture in the screen for what you see right now. Maybe I won't. I probably won't. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, usually it wouldn't do that, but it is now. Usually you'd have a posh drop down app menu, but no. As you can see, everything looks very uh, Macy. You've got your show applications you get with this. You get additional apps, applications menu. A background changer, Bracero, you get con a contacts app, I wonder if this is custom or... From what I can tell, no, this isn't custom, it's from Ubuntu. But I don't really know. Um, you get GIMP, which is a very good photo editor, so, you know, if you're coming over from the Mac side, you might be a photo editor, since that's what Macs are usually used for. You got Empathy, you've got Files... What if that's got a Mac theme? It looks close enough to a Mac, I guess. Um, you get Firefox, you get G-Edit, you get LibreOffice, which is um, good a good alternative to open off, no, uh, Microsoft Office. However, not so close looking to Pages. You get um, maps, I wonder if that's custom, what is it? Why would you need maps on a laptop anyway, that's why I want to know. No, it doesn't seem to be custom, but... Okay. You get... Um... You get uh, Open JDK, which is pretty useful. You get Orange Calendar. You get Shotwell, which is a very good photo editor. You get Transmission, which is also available on the Mac. So those of you coming over from a Mac, it will have an air of familiarity. You get a calculator. Now, I do wonder if that's got a Mac theme to it. Oh, also the window borders have a Mac theme, but no, the calculator doesn't. Um, you get Docky, which is a very good... Uh, dock. Now when I tried this on physical hardware, the dock was crazy small, but I suppose you could make it bigger. Um, the application menu, I believe, is slingshot. Um, you get uh, oh, well, you get a Mac icon theme. You get the G Mac store, which I believe is probably the Ubuntu software center. If it's going to open, which is probably not. Yeah, it's the Ubuntu Software Center. Hmm, strange. The icon there is completely different to the one on the dock. You get a very Mac style wallpaper. This, I believe, is the wallpaper from El Capitan. But, so other backgrounds you get with it. It takes a second to load, but there we go. You got the El Capitan wallpaper. Hmm, strange that it didn't include the default one. You got. The Snow Leopard wallpaper from Snow Leopard. I believe that is modified, but I'm not sure. You've got several of their custom wallpapers, a few of which I believe are no wallpapers. You've got your pictures folded obviously, and you've got some solid colours. Now, I personally kind of like the uh, Snow Leopard one, so I'm going to select that one. You can also select your wallpaper from your, for your uh, lock screen. Now, I do wonder what this videos app is. I hope it is VLC. No, it's just the Ubuntu videos. Um, Rhymebox, which is what comes with Ubuntu, and it's a pretty good video player. Oh, sorry, music player. Um, you also get a standard image viewer. You get, um, well, that's pretty much it. You just get a sort of Mac skin. It's essentially all it is, really, is Ubuntu. Well, Ubuntu with a Mac skin over it. Uh, usually, I'd say it would have a custom top bar, but it seems not to. Um, 
see what we can do with how oh, it uses the glass theme. Let's see if you've got anything closer to Mac. You got a classic theme, if that's what you're into. You've got air. You've got the glass theme, which is the default one. You've got grayscale. You've got hood. You've got a very Mac style one, which I don't know why they didn't apply that by default, but whatever. You've got uh, several other Mac styles. You've got matte. You've got smoke. And you've got transparent. Now, personally, I kind of like the Mac uh, one, so I'm going to keep that one there. Um, strangely enough, the applications icon is from uh, Maverick's lower, whereas the rest of the icons seem to be from Yosemite. Hmm. Hopefully, they release that and will fix that in G Max 10. Also, hopefully, they fix up how the VirtualBox Guest Edition screwed up all their custom theming in. Yeah. Um, I believe from memory the terminal had a kind of Mac look to it, but I don't remember exactly. Um, tell you what, let's just click on it from the side panel. I mean, yeah, it looks kind of like the Mac terminal, but nah, sort of. Um, you have got, well, see if all, yeah, basically all your Linux commands will work. Okay, um, now I'm guessing the biggest alternative to this would probably be elementary OS, but I'd probably recommend this, being that um, it's got a more Mac look to it, for one, and it's more intuitive because obviously you've got all your buttons instead of just one or two. Um, also, it looks closer to what you might be used to on a newer Mac, so... You know, it's either or, really. You could go with this or you could go with elementary. Now, um, obviously, you'll have to try it for yourself because, obviously, VirtualBox broke in the top menu. Um, I do recommend you give this a try. It's just as premium as it looks. It's not as laggy as it seems. It just looks like that because it's running in VirtualBox. So, give it a go. Support the little guy. Um... Now, the biggest alternative to this, um, I'd say it was elementary, however, it is actually continuing um, the le legacy of uh, Pear OS, which was a very good Linux distro. Is this as good as Pear OS? Not really, no, but it's getting close, so uh, that's my review of GMAX 10, give it a go. Uh, drop a like down below, leave a comment, and tell me what you